Hello friends, let's look at the sixth problem. The problem is find the number of solutions of mod cos x is equal to sin x for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4 pi. So as I have already drawn, as you can see, um, the graphs of sin x, cos x and mod cos x. This is one of the best ways to solve such problems, right? Um, so as you can see in blue, there's a graph of cos x. So it is uh, for cos 0, the value is 1. And uh, for cos 90, it's 0. It's decreasing up to pi. And then it again starts increasing up to 2 pi. And then again decreasing up to 3 pi. And in, again increasing up to 4 pi. Similarly, for sin x, you can see the function is drawn in orange color. So it goes from 0 to pi by 2 increasing, then decreasing up to 3 pi by 2. And then again, the function is increasing up to 5 pi by 2. And then it's decreasing up to 7 pi by 2 and increasing up to 4 pi. So we should be very well aware of sin x and cos x functions, these graphs of sin x and cos x. So let's move on. So when we say mod cos x, basically mod makes anything positive. Even if the value is negative, the mod will change it to positive, right? Mod of minus 5 is 5 or mod of minus 9 by 2 is 9 by 2, like that. So whatever be the value inside mod, mod it will become positive. So here cos x function is negative from pi by 2 to 3 by 2. So we the one we have drawn in purple is the inverted value of basically uh, we just can change the negative value to the positive value from pi by 2 to 3 by by 2. Similarly from pi by 5 pi by 2 to 7 pi by 2 cos x is negative. So we change it to positive. So finally, if I just uh, uh, draw the graph uh, for mod cos x, it will be, I'm just drawing it again here for you to understand properly. So if I, this is the graph. From here, it will go again up. And then by 3 pi by 2, it will go again up. Then 5 pi by 2 to 7 pi by 2. So this is what is my actual graph of my function mod cos x. So now I have to find the solution for this equation mod cos x equal to sin x for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4 pi. So basically what, what is the meaning of solution? Solution means wherever my sin x graph meets cos x, wherever these two graphs intersect. Right, wherever sin x graph will intersect with mod cos x graph. That is the solution of this equation. So they all, I am just marking the points. Let me take a different pen and mark them. So I am marking all the solutions, all the intersections of these two graphs with red. So this is first in intersection, then Moving ahead, this is my second intersection where sin x is in, uh, um, intersecting with mod cos x. Then it keeps moving. Then there's a third intersection over here. Then there's fourth intersection over here. Then it keeps moving. That's all. Right? Up to 4 pi only we have to see. 0 to 4 pi. So basically, as we can see, there are four solutions to this equation. Similarly, if the you can work on any kind of uh, such problems involving mod or, or even if it's not involving mod, you can, if you know the graphs of sin x, cos x, tan x, you can work on a lot of such problems, right? So learn the graphs of sin x cos x so i i will write down here learn graphs of sin x cos x tan 
x and try for other also secant x cos cos secant x then you can uh, try the graphs of sine square x cos square x things like that right sine square x plus cos square x right you can you can expand your learning by working on these graphs right thank you so much for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and family so that everyone can get full value out of it thank you so much